Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenka. You're watching Just Angie, and it's the Sunday sermon. And I'm so so excited that I have some amazing guests. George is not new to you. I think we did a whole series of George, so you know George. And uh, today we welcome Apostle Tonga. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sanona, Sanona. Apostle, <laughs> don't get me started. It's a, it's but it's we're really happy to have you here. Amen. And therefore, we're going to do this the series, uh, uh, sermon series for Sunday. So I'll be with these two gentlemen, and we'll chat at different things. You know, um, things that will give you courage, give you hope. But I think I want to start on on one thing that um, six is the number of man. I don't know why these days I've been flowing with with numbers, but six is the number of man. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, I think, was created on the sixth day. Mm. That's what it's all about. Mm. But I was thinking as we start um, this January 2019, there are things that have been limiting us that we need to stop. Mm. I think there's a video I did some time about how there are things that God is asking us to leave behind mm -hmm. so that we can flow with the calling of God on, the, on, on our lives. Mm. And therefore, just what are your thoughts around that six is the number of man? Today's the sixth day. What? maybe positive things is man doing and maybe an, uh, something that we need to improve on to move forward in this year. Oh, thanks. I thank you for being here. Yeah, I'm so, so excited. Welcome. I just thank you. Uh, family, it's been a while since uh, I've seen you all. And it's a great topic and Happy New Year to everybody as well. Yeah. I think um, being the number of man, since mm -hmm. being the number of man is, it's one of those things that people are always not so sure about from a number perspective. And mm -hmm. That I'm not too sure why, because mm. from my perspective, it's, it's a good thing. It's, you know, sometimes in this world, there's a weight of saying, oh man, we are dark, we are off the course and all these things. And I, I don't see it that way. Mm. I think, you know, there's, there's been a lot of progression. You know, I always say, if you look where we are today as a, as a world compared to how it was mm. in the early 1900s, mm. a lot it's more, true. so many things that have happened mm. that have benefited us. Mm. You know, it's not all perfect. So. Mm. On a whole, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. And mm. in terms of, you know, the question was asked about limitations. Mm. One thing at least I've seen in my own life, my own personal experience mm. is, especially when I was young and, and still today to a certain extent, is people's opinions. Yes. It's, Being, it's, we want to listen to people's opinions. Uh, I remember when, uh, you know, when I first started working, you know, speaking in public was the most terrifying thing ever. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because I was concerned everybody will know I'm a fraud. They know I don't know anything. And, you're second guessing and you think, oh, if I misspeak, if I shrub, mm -hmm. the world will be speaking about it for the next you know, <laughs> 10 yeah, years. Yes, eh. And that inhibits you and you, you try to be safe to make sure that, mm. you know, you, I used to tell myself, as long as there's no incidents, don't mm. say anything too big or too, just go through the background and make it through it. And, you know, and you're like, whew. Yeah, it's so over. maintain, just maintain the status quo. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. don't try to go over or under. So this year we're going to challenge you not to do that, yeah? And not to be concerned about people's opinions. People will always have opinions. They have opinions about everything. So you need to have, I think, the way you can count that, I'm thinking, is to have an opinion about yourself. And that's why identity is so important. Know who you are. Know that you're a child of God. Know that God has got your back. And don't fear people. Because the reason even I think we stop, we don't speak in front of people is because we fear them. Why are you fearing them? They're people just like you. Mm -hmm. They have they have strengths. They have weaknesses. They have flaws. They have they have um, things that are right about them. Mm -hmm. They have strengths. Mm -hmm. But they're just people. So you cannot always be that person who won't say anything because you think they're better than you and actually that's the thing you think that they are better than it's you or that they have more knowledge than you and that is not right even if they have more knowledge than you on a particular subject there's another subject where you have more knowledge of them so that's a good challenge so we can't be about people's opinions yes. because calling a purpose is not about people's opinions or the only person who has an opinion is god you play it's to the true. audience of one, one. one. It's yeah. true. awesome awesome Matonga. wow now, uh, first and foremost, thank you. It's, it's an honor to meet each and every one of you, and uh, I'm so thankful to be here today. And um, as we, as, um, we speak on this topic of man, first I want to say Happy New Year. I yes. hope you are <laughs> so excited. God created everything in, in five days, the five, first five days. Mm. And uh, it says it was day, it was night. Mm. But God then realized, I need to create someone yeah. whom we can have a relationship with. Mm. And God created man. Yeah. And for man, he didn't say, let there be man. Mm -mm. God went and formed him mm -hmm. by himself. Mm -hmm. So it, it shows there is a special place mm -hmm. that as a man we have um, in the presence of God. There mm -hmm. is something special about man. Mm -hmm. So when the first thing when you think about man, just think about you are special. Mm -hmm. You are yes. great, you are loved, 
because God did not just speak and say let there be man mm. God formed man himself from the ground from the mm. soil mm. and breathed into them for animals he said let there be animals mm. let there. They yes they are living things yes, yes but for man he had to breathe his wow. own wow. his own um, breath into mm. them mm. and he, he looked at him and said wow this is great this is great this is good wow and he yes. brings his own his life own life in into the man That's apart from for, for the animals is just a let there be mm. let there be mm. let there be let, mm. but they're all living things yes but for man he formed number one Thank Second, you. then he breathed himself into him. Wow. And that's why he said, let's make man in our own image, image and likeness. And, likeness. Yeah. and that's another yes. powerful thing because he yes. was just, everything else was just in let there be. Yes. But this one he said, and there was even consultation. Yes. You know, he was, it was God the Father, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ the Son, and yes. the Holy Spirit. And he yes. said, let us make man in our, our own, own image. image. So we're the only creation that is made in his, in his image, image and, and likeness. his likeness and yes. is carrying his breath. Yes. That's very, very yes. powerful. Yes. So that's a very positive mindset. Yes for today being the 6th of January yes. and the number of man. Man yes. is not a bad thing. Yes. It's right. God created somebody that was amazing. Yes. Yes. You know, even in, in my head, you know, I'm very visual, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. of Little House on the Prairie mm -hmm. and what we have today, you know, you know Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> so, and, you know, development, so much, yes. so many things have taken place, you know, yes. from the Wright brothers trying to fly a plane. You know, every time I'm True. in a plane, I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> what, why, why, who said this thing is going to get where I'm going, you know? But look at them, you know, they mm -hmm. tried, so there's been so much development, mm -hmm. technology, very the internet the space sometimes we may use the space negatively but it was a true. positive thing Very so true. man and his mind and and having the mind of god and the mind yes. of christ even when he doesn't realize it true. because true. that's another thing i like to say mm. it doesn't say christians were made no, in the no, image no. and likeness of god mm. it said man Very true. humanity in its entirety yes. was made in the image and, and likeness, likeness of god. god that means we look like him mm -hmm. we think like him mm -hmm. we function like him yes. we carry his spirit yes. so even if there's anything else just pray and say god mm -hmm. this year has mm -hmm. got to be different mm -hmm. because i carry your spirit yes. your breath is in me Very i'm true. made in your image i'm yes. made in your likeness mm -hmm. and i gotta i got i've got to do something That's i've got to do true. something that, mm -hmm. that 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 leaves its mark in this world yes and I think when we're on that point, I'm also thinking mm -hmm. it's very important to leave your mark in people. I think we've True. been having a lot of conversations about, yes, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Mm -hmm. But there's, um, I remember there's one and Stark when I was talking about that, that they, then it has to be in all eight areas. Mm -hmm. So you need to leave an inheritance for mm -hmm. your children spiritually, mm -hmm. in terms of knowledge, mind, yes, emotions, yes. In, mm -hmm. in terms of behavior, mm -hmm. in terms of physically, mm -hmm. even socially. Mm -hmm. Is there a social capital that you've left for your children? Mm -hmm. Can they use your good name? Very or is true. your name just a name for making everyone say, hey, roll their eyes? <laughs> and like, they give that side look of, hey. you know, have you left them a social capital? True. Have you taught them how to behave socially? Very how true. to have strengths? Mm -hmm. And also financially, now that's mm -hmm. the one we most focus on, mm -hmm. uh, a financial inheritance. Mm -hmm. But there's also, a, a, and also leadership and governance. True. Have you left an inheritance in how they can lead and mm -hmm. lead self and lead mm -hmm. others mm -hmm. and govern people and govern mm -hmm. communities? And, mm -hmm. and then professionally, have you left an inheritance true. that, you know, people know this is the person who works here this is what they did in terms of their career mm -hmm. so there's there's living an inheritance in all areas of life yes. so that there's a balance mm -hmm. in in our in our living a legacy True. but that's the point that a lot of it has been going through me that there's a lot of strength in leaving your legacy in people True. do you want to speak to that i, I think people have focused for a very long time that when we talk, we talk about leaving an inheritance for your, for for your generation yes. and your generation to come. They've only been focusing financially. Mm. So um, how I get that money, it doesn't matter as long as I leave that money to my children. Yeah. And you tend to find uh, issues following generation after yes. generation. Mm. Yes, they have money, yes. but they don't have they values. Mm. They don't have. They will uh, not have peace. They don't have peace. Have family, really. They don't even have family. Even the togetherness. Um, you see, I've seen we've, we've seen families on on TV where the the parents pass on the mm. children cannot even listen to each other mm. anymore. Mm. They start fighting in courts yeah. for mm. the same same wealth that was left with the with the family. And I agree with you completely that it has to be in the all eight uh, yes. areas, aspect yes. and nations. And the most important thing is that when you leave an inheritance in all the eight spheres. It means you've left around it people yes, who yes. are going to impact the generation and their next generation. That even if one is lacking, the seven can work themselves out to make sure the one deficit has been filled up. That's true. Rather than having one and missing the other seven. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. George? No, I think that's 
so in line because I think it's about maturity, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the greatest thing you can leave to yeah. someone else. Yes, yeah. And it's not just even the family, the workplace, you yeah. know, it's so that a lot of people you think that, you know, really, it's all about results, sure. the end game, you know, and, and there's a fault in that because sometimes you, you can have a team, you work so hard together, but you just, you know, get sick for a week. Mm -hmm. Your team collapses without yeah. you, you know. It's so, right. sort of like, you know, when Moses went up the mountain for those 40 days, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were making gold calves yeah, and gold all of that they stuff. Went crazy, those guys. They weren't crazy. So, you know, that's, that's a failure in leadership because yeah. he didn't empower them. Yes. He may have gotten results initially. But mm -hmm. as soon as he was taken out, mm -hmm. and that's not maturity. That's so I think, you know, what you're speaking about is so powerful. How do we mature people, sure. be it your own children, so mm -hmm. that, because with your children, you want, to be, you want them to be able to exist without you, outside yes. of you, so that if I'm yes. not here today, I'm confident that they'll be able to, to thrive, not survive, but, but to, to thrive, thrive. and that's the aim. So. Yes, that's very, very important. Mm. And then the other thing I wanted to almost like um, sort of end the session with is one thing that really grips man mm -hmm. is fear. Sure. So man has a lot of fear, mm -hmm. but as, as I've been studying fear, I've been looking at that scripture that says, I've not given you a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of power, of love, and of sound mind. Mm -hmm. And it made me look back and say, ah, yeah. mm -hmm. you mean the opposite of fear? It's not even one thing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. The opposite of fear mm -hmm. is not having the, the power of love mm -hmm. and a sound mind. And what was mm -hmm. the other one? There were three. I'm not giving you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, power love and of sound. love, and, and of a sound, sound mind. Yes. Can you imagine too? Those three things mm -hmm. encompass the opposite of fear. True. And I've been really saying we have to sit down and unpack. Mm -hmm. That means when you have fear, you don't have uh, a sound mind, mm -hmm. you don't have love, mm -hmm. and you have no power. Mm -hmm. But yeah. God gave us power. Mm -hmm. he, he said in, uh, is it in Matthew 20, the Great Commission, yeah. go in my power and in mm -hmm. my authority. Yes. So we have the power and authority. Mm -hmm. You must have a sound mind. You can't mm -hmm. be confused because mm -hmm. that's also what fear does. It brings mm -hmm. a lot of confusion or, or even you're thinking things that are not right. Yeah, mm -hmm. You're thinking about people being better than you. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about, I can't do this. You know mm -hmm. what will the world think? True. You, you've brought so many other issues instead of, you've been given a mind. The mind mm -hmm. is the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. You can hear God because he said in Hebrews mm -hmm. that I will put my things, I will write mm -hmm. things, I will write the law on your heart mm -hmm. and on your mind. mind. So you have the mind to think like Christ lives, and even what you said, yes. he created us in his image and yeah, his likeness. Yes. So we have the mind. Yes. And then we have to have love mm -hmm. because we're motivated by love. Mm -hmm. And even as you share, I'm, I, it's amazing how I knew I was going to share about the Tonga story in brief, but <laughs> you know, I talk that those people are motivated by love. They didn't have fear yes. because the Tonga, you needed to get saved. Even yeah. those kids, hey, what? <laughs> I don't know who they are, but they need a lot of thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. But somebody obeyed, came mm -hmm. and had, was it like a camp? A, a concert. And then you got saved yes. at Tonka. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because mm -hmm. now that person, if they had come with fear, mm -hmm. would not have this powerful apostle <laughs> sitting here with mm -hmm. us. That's if the true. person who was supposed to set it up had fear and said, I'm not mm -hmm. going to do it. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking even as the year begins, mm -hmm. how many things mm -hmm. um, are we st are we st are we not doing but mm -hmm. they're supposed to empower others because we're mm -hmm. talking about leaving your legacy in others true, true, yeah so true. if we don't do things if we are fearful mm -hmm. it's it's the same thing that we always talk about here that purpose mm -hmm. is about others. others so i just like you to speak to that as we conclude today's sunday sermon no and and that's it fear it you know when you talk about a sound mind that's mm -hmm. that's it because when i was <coughs> scared in speaking in public mm -hmm. so many thoughts are crossing yes. mm -hmm. i see those people are looking at my shoes and if not my shoes my head and mm -hmm. my hair I have all these things so there's no clarity so there's no mm -hmm. focus because yeah. that's one thing that fear robs you out of so yeah. mm -hmm. you know, when you you speak about that and also it takes your power away because yes. it, it takes does. away your conviction because you no know, house divided cannot stand and, <laughs> and fear destroys you within yourself you yes. start asking there's so many contrary voices in your head and you're trying to understand which one to believe so yes. i think that thing of you know that verse is so powerful of understanding yeah. that if i want to overcome my fear then maybe i, I need to work on increasing the power yes. the love because love yes. speaks to identity as well yes. because you know christ is love Mm. So when you have those things, then because a lot of people fear because they feel no one will love me, I will not yes. be accepted, I'll be yes. rejected by making a decision or yes. that. Yes. But when I know that God's love is mm. abounding at all mm. times, I feel so. Those three things. Mm. If you are, if fear is a challenge in your life, focus on those three things yes. as opposed to just 
trying to overcome the fear on yes. its own. Mm. Yes, and I think one thing before Atonga shares mm. is I am always amazed at the scripture that says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. True. I love the fact that God knew mm. you cannot love yourself if you don't even love your neighbor. You love your neighbor as you love that yourself. So that it begins with self-love. Self it's true. Mm. So as on this sixth day of January, mm. how are you going to demonstrate to yourself mm -hmm. self-love? Mm -hmm. What do I need to do mm -hmm. to love myself, believe mm -hmm. in myself, mm -hmm. believe in God, mm -hmm. you know, secure my identity mm -hmm. in order to move forward in love which God is calling me. And also I think seeing God as a as a loving father yes. rather than as a taskmaster. Yes. He is a, I think it even says he's slow to anger mm -hmm. and abounding yeah. it. Love. love. Yes. And God's response is always Love, love, always love, love. always, always. So that's something that we have to seek, you know. Mm -hmm. And and you do so. I guess in terms of doing, because I've seen a lot of people, including myself, mm -hmm. who we had fear of doing things, mm -hmm. but we still did it in spite of the fear. True. We continued despite the fear. Fear was here, which was looming, but we were moving forward. Pushed we were through. obeying, you know. Mm -hmm. And I guess that motivation, when you look about it, it's because of of love and even the sound mind. You're mm -hmm. hearing God. Mm -hmm. You're sure you. It looks crazy. You're like I'm hearing him, but yes. Mm -hmm. You have a conviction it's true. that you're hearing him and that conviction drives you forward. Yeah. It's true. I, talk mm -hmm. up. I think that fear leads you to fit in. Yes. Uh, what ah, will happen is that beautiful. because you're so afraid, you want to do what will make people happy. Yes. You don't want to, to um, be able to be on the opposite of that. To chat on path. Um, yeah. I'll give my example of what exactly what you've talked about. I remember I went to Extreme Weekend. Mm. I thank hey. God for Lighthouse Extreme hey. Thank you, Jesus. And and I remember we went um, a, um, a group of high school people. Bad my boys. Friends. Yes, we just said, Bad oh, boys. let's go. What it, it, because it was a, a concert that would advertise everywhere in Kenya, and it was at Kasarani, I remember. And we went. So we were sitting in a row like this, mm. like 15 guys from the same class. We are good guys. We, we are the boys. We are the people who... They, make they, things happen. Yes, make things happen. Huh. And um, then, but the spirit of God was working in me because I was, I was brought up. I was brought up in church, mm. but you know, in school you do things to ensure that you fit in. Yes. So, the spirit of God was convicting me. When the outer call was called, I was feeling the Holy Spirit telling me, "It is your time today. It is your time today." I'm like. You look at the 14 no. guys. I'm looking you at the guys. guys, I'm, guys like, I'm like, uh -uh. I'm like, nah, nah, no, no, like, no. Ah, who, who? The, 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 I'll, be, I'll be the laughing stock. You know, yeah. I'll be the laughing stock of, of the class. But um, something just nudged me. Stand and up. I stood up. Wow. I and everyone that. was like, okay, eh? <laughs> what is happening here? And, 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 and with that, God ushered me into a lifestyle that I've never seen before. My life started transforming a day at a time. And with that, there are many people's life. My family has been impacted because of that salvation. My friends have been impacted because of that salvation. And it's what you are saying. There are so many things that have been held because people are walking in fear. fear. There are businesses, there are people who are unemployed today. Because someone is afraid to start that business. Yes. There is a family member that is not going to school because someone is so afraid to do something. And it's that fear that is driving people. People are not looking at what can can be done or what can can I be able to achieve rather than what if I start and it doesn't work? It doesn't work. What if I get saved and God doesn't work for me? Mm. We are at the what if, what if. Always but what if we're looking, what if we start this year we decide and we say, I'm not going to take chances. Yes. I'm just going to start that one thing for the year. That this this thing has been afraid. I've been afraid to do it. God has been asking me this. I'm taking a leap of faith in 2019 I'm and move forward. I think that's yes. so powerful. That's yes. what we have to do. Honestly, we cannot have fear any longer. Yes. We have to start the year with a bang. Mm -hmm. And a year, we have to start the year in obedience yes. to that which God is calling us to Amen. do. You know, some of us, as we pray and, and lead the people to salvation, I'm even, I felt it drop in my spirit. Even fear of losing money. You know, you yes. hoard it. Yes. But the scripture already, you know, the scripture has everything. There's a scripture that says that, that there was this man who was building stores. Mm. He was building stores to store his harvest. 
and God will say, yeah, you build stores, but your life is going today. It's not a good thing. We're not mm-hmm. wishing death on anyone, but God has a way. You know, so sometimes I think that maybe you're even holding on to money. Mm-hmm. You're holding on to wealth. Mm-hmm. You're holding on to a job mm-hmm. for the sake of holding on to a job. You know that you're not supposed to be there anymore. Mm-hmm. You're tired. God is asking you to go mm-hmm. to something else, but you're mm-hmm. holding on to it. Mm-hmm. You're holding on to savings True. when people around you are languishing in poverty. True. Please don't do things like that. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, that God is asking you to do, mm-hmm. you must overcome fear. Amen. On this sixth day of January, mm-hmm. and I love the fact that we're overcoming fear because mm-hmm. our foundation mm-hmm. is let us make man in, in our, our image, image and, and in our likeness. likeness. God the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Word, mm-hmm. three people mm-hmm. said let us make man in our image, image and, likeness. and likeness. They formed the body and then they breathed mm-hmm. their life. So you're made in the image and the likeness of God. Amen. You cannot fail. You are not created to fail. Mm-hmm. You are full of God's power, God's mm-hmm. love, mm-hmm. and God's sound mind. Yes. And there's nothing like confusion. You know, some people will say mm-hmm. that, am I hearing the devil? Unless you've been walking with the devil, why would you be? Why would you be? <laughs> are those true. my ideas? Or, mm-hmm. Why would you be hearing the enemy? The enemy Unless speak. that's who you're walking with. True. But if you've been walking with Christ, you mm-hmm. have a relationship. True. You've been worshiping him, mm-hmm. worshiping him. You've been in the right places. Mm-hmm. Then why would you hear another voice? No, it is only the voice of God that you would hear. Amen. So follow that voice. Mm-hmm. And just take a step mm-hmm. towards that that destiny that God is calling you for. Because Amen. I'm always thinking that for me, I think one day when, when we get to heaven, mm-hmm. maybe God will play a video of your life mm-hmm. as it should have been, as mm-hmm. he ordained. Because in mm-hmm. Ephesians 2.10, mm-hmm. he says, I have ordained a life. There's a life. Amen. There's Amen. a path he has set. Amen. He says he has preordained. I mean the word mm-hmm. preordained, prearranged, made ready mm-hmm. for you to live. Yes. So you play that video. Mm-hmm. Then you play your actual life. <laughs> then it will be for collapsing in a heap and say, take me back. Is it? <laughs> and what was standing <laughs> yes. between and what Body. was standing between you mm-hmm. is fear. True. How Very can true. fear stand between you and what God has for you? It says he has great and precious promises. Mm-hmm. So this is the year mm-hmm. on this sixth day of January mm-hmm. that we turn that around. Amen. That we begin to take steps of obedience Amen. towards what God is calling us to do. Amen. I mean when I look at my own life, mm-hmm. I cannot believe my life. I cannot mm-hmm. believe my life. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. First of all, I was chief clubber. Mm-hmm. I remember one day somebody in mm-hmm. church, because I think the first time the last time they had seen me, I was dancing mm-hmm. on a table. Mm-hmm. And the next time they're seeing me is in church with their hands held. Mm-hmm. So the, the, the pastor is that way, mm-hmm. but they've turned their whole body. Mm-hmm. And through the whole service, mm-hmm. they just watched me. Because they're trying to make correlation between standing on a bar. Mm-hmm. Who is this woman? You know, <laughs> and even the people gave me two weeks. We're still here. You know, we're Amen. still moving. Amen. But it, it took a lot of fear to get on again. It took mm-hmm. a lot of fear to step out into purpose. Mm-hmm. I'm always saying I used to teach PLF with a lot of fear. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. You're still t- season four. Mm-hmm. And that's that means that those are 48 Saturdays. Mm-hmm. But I still I have fear. I'm asking myself who told me, mm-hmm. who gave me the mandate. I don't mm-hmm. know. I used to ask myself, you see, mm-hmm. those questions. Yeah. Instead of having a sound mind, at least mm-hmm. we're helping you. Mm-hmm. Have a sound mind. Mm-hmm. Be no that no one thing that God is with you mm. he's with you in it mm. and just overcome the fear or be the people who despite the fear mm. they're still moving amen they're moving in the direction mm. that God has called them to move in amen amen amen, amen. 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 so I think George you will pray for the people mm-hmm. Atonga you will lead them to salvation mm-hmm. and we pray that it's been a powerful Sunday for you so amen <laughs> let, let us all pray yeah. So, Father God, we thank you so much for this new year, Father, the, mm-hmm. the new beginnings, Father. We're yes. so thankful that, as has been spoken here today, we have been made in your image and in your likeness. Yes. And, Father, Amen. you're made perfectly, Father. You're mm-hmm. made to have dominion, to thrive, to prosper. And, Father, mm-hmm. we welcome all these blessings into this new year, mm-hmm. Father. We say this new year we're going to thrive. Mm-hmm. This new year we're going to have blessings. We're going to multiply and be fruitful in all that we do, Father. And we also mm-hmm. speak that in this year, we're not going to walk in fear, Father. Yes. Fear is no longer our portion in this yes, new year, Father. But we're going to walk in love, mm-hmm. w- walk in power, and mm-hmm. in a sound mind. And that means, Father, the way we'll be making our decisions in this mm-hmm. year will not be from a position of fear, Father, yes, but we'll Lord. be making decisions from a position of power, mm-hmm. position of love, and mm-hmm. a position of sound mind, Father. Yes. Decisions for ourselves, decisions mm-hmm. for our families, and yes. even in terms of our impact in this nation. Mm-hmm. Father, when we're speaking about our nation, we'll be speaking mm-hmm. from a position of love, a yes. position of power, and a position mm-hmm. of a sound mind, Father. Yes. We say that there shall be no confusion this year, Father. All mm-hmm. the things, Father, mm-hmm. because we know 
every year we start so powerfully then there are mm. all those things which at the end of the year i left unfinished and they're mm. probably from the year before father we say mm. this year mm. father because of no more fear father we're saying mm. this year we are going to finish things mm. father this is a year of completion mm. Father, all the things that we are starting we are going to finish them mm. and we'll give you the glory for that so father we thank you for our sign mind mm. we thank you for the power that is mm. through you mm. and we thank you that the love which is our identity father we do not conform no longer to the patterns of this world mm. but our minds have been transformed and renewed and now that it will be very clear which voice we are listening to mm. father we'll not hear any contrary voices mm. but we shall be still and know that you are god so we mm. thank you we thank you for the just angie family and we mm. know by december coming we will mm. all have our testimonies mm. so we thank you father and we bless you in jesus name amen amen i told you would you lead them in salvation so um <coughs> probably um you've been going through things and um starting a new year you're just telling god i want to start afresh mm. and it's very very important that when you're talking about newness the newness starts from the heart mm. the mind the soul and the spirit so that when you're moving towards the year because for you to be able to connect with god you have the breath the breath of god in you but you need to connect mm. it's like wi-fi you need to connect to be able to access mm. the things that you need to access for the year so i want to pray for you if you you don't know Christ and you like to get to know Christ and if you are non Christ but because of life and the things the hustle of life you you kind of backslid back to to the world so these are the kind of two people I want to pray for and if you are with me and I, I ask that you say this prayer after me <coughs> say dear Jesus i humble myself before the throne of grace repenting of my sin i ask you god to sanctify me to purify me and to make me whole father my desire is to have a relationship with you i welcome you into my heart come and live in me i pray let me die to all that is of my own in my life that in this year 2019 you will use me by the power of your spirit father i thank you i declare this day i belong to you and you belong to me in Jesus name we pray amen 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 amen, amen. amen. hallelujah amen. have a powerful year amen. 2019 amen. god bless you amen bye bye amen